again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today I have got another lovely lacy stitch for you called the Ascension Lace Stitch. Yes, and absolutely love how it travels with the shells and the clusters doing their thing and the doubles doing their thing and it's very lacy and I love it and I hope you guys do too. That being said, it's a very simple stitch. It's only a four row repeat and you can make this as wide or as narrow as you want to. So if you want to do a scarf or a wrap or a blanket or even curtains for that matter, this would be a lovely stitch for you. Yes. And, um, I wanted to make this for a friend of mine. Um, she's going away to college, and I thought this would be a nice going away present. Um, not necessarily this time of year, but, you know, it'll keep her nice and toasty during the cold winter months. Also, a big thank you to one of my viewers, Joanna. Thank you very much for supplying me with this yarn. This is the Lion Brand Pound of Love in the colorway of Cherry. So yes, it is vibrant, my goodness. Now for today's tutorial, I'm going to be using the same thing, Lion Brand's Pound of Love, but in the Oxford Gray. You know, this, this is some vibrant stuff and I absolutely love it, but it's making my camera flare a little bit. This, this will be much more easy on the eyes for the sake of the tutorial, but absolutely love it and I hope you guys do too. So with that being said, we will get started. Now for your base chain, before we actually get started started, your base chain needs to be a multiple of 16 chains plus an additional three chains. Now for this particular example, I have three repeats, three multiples. Um, for today's example, I'm only doing two, so that's two multiples of 16 plus an additional three, which is a total of 35. You can do whatever number you want, as long as it's a multiple of 16, and then just add three more for your base chain, and we will get started. All righty. All right, so for row one, I already have my base chain made up. And like I said, it's a multiple of 16 plus three chains. So I have a total of 35 chains. So I can do two repeats for this particular swatch. So after you have all of your chains ready into the fourth chain from the hook, we're gonna do a double crochet. Now, as always, you can go about it in one of several methods. You could go into the top loop or you could go into the back bump. Really, you know, whatever works for you. Me, I'm just gonna go into the top loop of the V with my first double crochet. And also this first little bit does count as a double crochet as well. And then into the next three chains, we need three more double crochets. So we're going to have a total of five. So one, two, and three. By the way, before I go any further, I know I'm going to get asked this. I am currently using a size J six millimeter hook and the weight of the yarn is approximately a weight of four. They say it's a weight of four. I'd say it's more of like a really thick weight of three, but that's just me. Um, so that being said, we have our technically five double crochets, including the little end here. So from here, chain two, then skipping the next three chains. So that's one, two, and three. So into the fourth chain, going to do a double crochet, chain two, and then another double crochet into that same stitch. We're creating a little V right there. Okay, chain two, 
and then skipping the next three chains once again. One, two, and three. And so into that fourth chain down below, do another double crochet. And we're going to be doing a total of nine double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, nope, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. But you know me, I like to double count. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Good. Okay. So then we're going to continue on in the same fashion. Chain two, skipping three chains, going into the fourth with a double crochet. And then chain two and another double crochet into that same stitch. Chain two, skipping three chains, going into that fourth chain. And we're almost at the end here, actually, which means that we're going to do double crochets into the remaining chains for a total of five double crochets, if I counted correctly, and I hope I did. So two, three, four, and ooh, I did it, five. With me, you never know. All right, so we have our two repeats. So as far as the multiple is concerned, you know, I only had two multiples of 16. So I've got one here and one here. If you wanted three of these, as opposed to two, you would do three multiples like I did for my example here. But that is what I decided to do for today. So that is row one. All right, row two. Now, to get a really nice clean edge, there are a couple of ways of doing this. And I've gone over this before, but I'm going to do it again. Now, what you could do to get a nice clean edge is you could go the, the route that I did here. And as you can see, I have a nice clean edge. Um, and I'm going to show you two, two techniques, actually. Now, typically, a lot of crochet patterns, they say chain up three, and that counts as your first double crochet. Well, yeah, technically it does, but you end up with a pretty wonky edge as far as I'm concerned, because then it says, you know, not into this first stitch, but into the next stitch, do your double crochet, and then continue on with your double crochets, and so on and so forth. And as you'll see, yeah, you end up with this sort of eh, wonky sort of loop at the end, even when you are doing a double crochet into that top third chain, you still have this weird wonky loop at the edge there. So there are two ways that I have found of rectifying that and making it a little less wonky and obtrusive. One of the ways that I usually do is to chain up two, and that is just to give you some height. It doesn't count as an actual stitch. Then you would turn your work, and then into that first stitch, do your first double crochet. Now, it does create a little bit of extra bulk, but nothing major, okay? The other way, which I didn't do for my practice example, but the other way of doing it quite simply is just chain up two, turn your work, and 
not go into this stitch, but go into the next stitch with your double crochets. And then just be very, very, very sure that when you are returning, that you go into the top of that second chain with your double crochet on the on the return pass, okay? Um, but when they say, yeah, chain up three, and that's your first double crochet, it drives me crazy, crazy, crazy. And I know that, you know, I'm, I'm going on and on, but anything to help you make your piece look better. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain up two, and I'm going to actually do a double crochet into that first stitch, and then into the next three. One, two, and three. Okay. So technically, this little bit right here does not count as a double crochet. We've got four double crochets. We went from five down to four. All right, then chain two and into this chain two space, skip this chain two space into the V here. Going to do two double crochets. chain two, and two more double crochets. Okay, so it's going to be getting a little bit thicker. Chain two. Okay, now skipping that first double crochet, going into the next with your double crochet, and we're going to be doing a total of seven double crochets. We went from nine and we're going down to seven because we're skipping the first and the last. So two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, chain two. And then into the V again, this chain two space. Oops. Going to do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So one and two, chain two, two more double crochets. There we are chain two, and then skipping that first double crochet going to the next. I'm going to do four double crochets. So two, grr, two, three, and into that last stitch, four. Okay. Now, of course, if you had more multiples than I do, you would have more of these blocks of nine in between, but because I only did a multiple, two multiples, um, you only have one block of nine when you initially start, and I'm realizing this now, but didn't want this piece to be too terribly wide, but I hope that it makes sense how I went about this. Okay, so that being said, let's proceed on to row three. Row three. All right, so again, I'm going to chain up two and turn my work and into that first double crochet, to that first stitch, do a double crochet and two more for a total of three. Okay, because again, this little bit doesn't count. Okay, 
chain two, and then into the chain two space, three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. So the clusters are getting bigger as the regular doubles are getting smaller. Chain two, skip the first double crochet going to the next, and we went from nine to seven, now we're gonna have five. So one, two, three, four, and five, chain two, because we're gonna skip that that last double crochet in the end there, and then into this chain two space, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So I got my three doubles, chain two, and three more doubles. Okay, and then chain two again, if I can manage it. There we go. And then skipping that first double crochet, going into the next three stitches with double crochets. Okay, ta -da. All right, so that is the end of row three. Mm -hmm. Yes, all right, onwards. Row four, okay, so again, chain two, turn the work into that first stitch, double crochet. Do another double crochet for a total of two. There we go. Chain two, and then into the chain two space, four double crochets, chain two, four double crochets. And this is as big as our clusters are going to get. So that's three and four, chain two, four more doubles, one, two, three, and four. Chain two. Again, skipping that first double, going into the next. And the next two doubles for a total of three. There we are, because we're skipping the first and the last. So nine, seven, five, and three. Okay, then chain two again. Going into the next chain two space, four doubles, chain two, four doubles. That's two, three, and four, chain two, four doubles, one, two, three, and four, chain two, skipping that first double crochet going into the next two double crochets. Ta -da! All right, and that is the end of row four. Okay. All right, row five. Now, for those of you that are probably wondering which row do I end the piece on, I would end it after 
row four because I like the look of it. That's just my personal preference. But the repeat itself is rows two through five. Um, so we still have another row to go to get back where we started from with our original count. But I would end it up after doing row four. That's just me personally. So that being said, chain up two, turn your work, and again, double crochet into that first stitch. And the next. And if you remember down here, we had a total of five double crochets. Well, we need five again. So into this chain two space, add three double crochets. One. two, and three, chain two, and then into the chain two space, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet, chain two, and then into this chain two space, add three double crochets. So that's one, two, three, and then do these next three double crochets. One, two, three, add three more double crochets because we started with nine. Well, we need nine again, right? Has to come full circle. So as you can see down here, we had nine and then it went from nine to seven to five to three. Well, we've got nine again, three, six, and nine. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. Okay, so chain two into the chain two space, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Chain two into the chain two space, three double crochets, and then add those last two double crochets for a total of five. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, so that is the, the full repeat for the pattern. Now, you guys know perfectly well that I am going to do another full repeat for you because I like to be thorough. So the only variation actually that I am going to do is I'm going to do the just the, the chain two on the edges and I will show you the difference because I like a nice clean edge. I don't know about you guys, but that's my preference. So that being said, we're going to do a full repeat. Alrighty. All right. So row two for the repeat, I'm going to start by chaining up two, one, two. Now I would strongly suggest though, that if you are doing this as your finished piece and not a a swatch like I'm doing, that you would keep it consistent um, as far as whether you do the method that I started with or the method that I'm doing now. So I chain two, and that is going to act as my first double crochet. All right, and so if you wanted to be consistent, you would go into here, but I'm going to go into not this first stitch, but into the next stitch, and I'm doing this to prove a point. So going to this next stitch, so that counts as two, three, and four, because we're leaving off that one double crochet. Okay. I really hope I'm not being confusing, but I am trying to be thorough in a multiple of ways. So right now we chain two, and then into the chain two space, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. 
two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. Chain two, skip that first double, going to the next seven double crochets with double crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Chain two. Again, because we're skipping that last double crochet there into the chain two space, two doubles, chain two, two doubles. There we go. Pull out some more yarn. Okay. Chain two, skipping that first double crochet, going into the next four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so that's row two for the repeat. Row three for the repeat, chain up two, turn the work, and skipping this first stitch here, going to the next stitch with doubles, just two, because we need a total of three doubles for this row on either side. So we've got our three doubles, chain two, and we're skipping that stitch right there, that end one, then into the chain two space, three doubles, chain two, three doubles. So that's three, chain two, three more doubles, Okay, chain two, skipping that first double, then going into the next five doubles. So that's one, two, three, four, and whoa, five. Chain two, again into the chain two space, three doubles, chain two, three doubles. My yarn's getting a little tangly tangly, sorry. Two, and then three more doubles. chain two, skip that first double, and then going into the next three doubles. Now, this is a great way of showing you what I'm talking about because we're finally getting to the good part. So one, two, and then be sure to go into that top of the stitch there, that second chain that we did. A nice clean edge. That's what we're going for. Now, whether you get it in one way or another, you know, dealer's choice, personal preference, you know, but I like a nice clean edge. That's just me personally. You know, what do you guys think? Hmm? All right, so that is row three for the repeat. We've just got two more. And uh, yeah. All right, let's 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 keep going. Okay. All righty, row four. Okay, so going to do my chaining up of two. 
turn my work and skip this first stitch here, going to the next. There we go. So we've got our two double crochets. Again, we're omitting this one right here. So chain two, and then into the chain two space, four double crochets, chain two, four double crochets. So one, two, three, four, chain two, four double crochets, one, two, three, and four, chain two, skipping that first double crochet, going to the next three stitches with double crochets. So one, two, three, chain two, and again, we're leaving off that last one there. Then into the chain two space here, four doubles, chain two, four doubles. I got my four doubles, chain two, and four doubles. Okay, and then chain two, skip that first double crochet, and finish off the row with two double crochets. So that's one, and then again, be careful, you got to go into that very last stitch be a little bit tricky, but it is worth it, I think. Okay. Alrighty. And that is the end of row four for the repeat. Now, as you can see on the edge here, see it was right here was the last the first row of our new repeat. So we've got this edge here, as opposed to this down here, which is relatively flat and straight compared to if we did it with just the, the chain three. But, you know, um, so that concludes row four. Okay, so last but not least, we've got row five for the repeat. So, chain up two, turn the work, and again, skipping this first stitch, going to the next one with a double crochet, and then into the chain two space, three more doubles, because we need those five that we started with initially. Okay, so we've got our five, so then chain two, and then into the chain two space, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, and then into the chain two space over here, three double crochets, and then double crochet into each of the double crochets, and then three more into the chain two space thereafter for a total of nine double crochets. And we reach the chain two space, so three more. Okay, so we've got three, six, and nine. Perfect, that's exactly what we wanted. All right, so then chain two, and then into the chain two space, 
double crochet, chain two, another double crochet, create that new, that new loop, that new V, chain two, and then into the chain two space down here, three more double crochets. And then two more at the end. And it's always that last one that it does seem to be a little bit tricky, but if you are careful and tenacious, you can get it. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys be the judge about the, the edging. Okay, so this is where we're at as far as just doing the chain two edge. And then from here down is where we did our chain two and then a double crochet into that same stitch. I don't know, I'm kind of partial to the, the chain two. I mean, of course, if you also block it, it will be more significant, but that's just the perfectionist in me, you know, sort of crying out. Um, but again, I mean, if you were to do this project, I would say you could end it on any row that you like, but I would prefer, you know, a, you know, if you ended it on, you know, the row four, but, you know, just keep repeating rows two through five over and over and over until the piece is as long as you want it to be. Well, that being said, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know I did. And again, thank you to Joanna for supplying the yarn for me. And uh, also, I hope that my my scarf is well received. I don't, I hope she's going to like it. Um, but, you know, that being said, if you like the tutorial, please give a little thumbs up button down below. Uh, hit subscribe because I do try to post often, whether it's crocheting or knitting or audiobook narrations, or of course, my other YouTube channel, Fiber Spider Games, where I do video game playthrough and commentary. Would love to see you there as well. And until next time, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and stay safe. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.